Okay, so in this help video, we are going to learn about document management in Microsoft Teams. And really, there's two ways to manage documents in Teams. There's a basic way, an advanced way. The basic way is just using files library that comes with the channel when you create it. So every channel gets a files area. And remember, there is no root files area at the top of your team. Um, there is no team files. Uh, everything is channel centric. So every channel gets a files area. And the more advanced way to manage documents is taking advantage of the fact that there is a SharePoint in the cloud site that sits behind every team you create. So every team gets its own SharePoint in the cloud site. Most of the time when you're using Teams, you don't need to know about SharePoint. You don't need to touch it. You don't even need to know it's there. However, occasionally when you want to do certain things like manage documents in an advanced way um, that you can't do in the Teams interface, you want to go to your SharePoint site where the documents actually live and manage them there. Okay, so the site that I'm going to use for this demo is this document management team site I created, right? And it has three general channels. It has three channels. It has a general channel, um, which we're not going to use. Uh, it has a channel I created called external collaboration, okay? And this will be for groups or people that are not within the university that I want to collaborate with. So let's say outside vendors or um, uh, contractors, things like that. And then I have an internal collaboration channel that is strictly for collaborating with just my team. So um, these are documents and things like that uh, that the vendors and the contractors don't need to know about or see. Okay, And it could be financial documents, things like that. Um, but this is where I'm going to put data that's only for, and documents that's only for, my team here at the university. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to start with a document that I'm creating in Word. Now keep in mind, you can actually create documents directly here in your Teams or in your channels file area by just saying new. And then you can create Excel files, Word files, etc. But I'm actually going to start by creating a Word file outside of the team and, um, and just doing it that way. So the first thing I'm going to do with this document is I'm going to turn on tracking because later on we're going to look at uh, co-editing a file with other team members. And if you plan on a lot of people getting into a document and using it at the same time or at different times, but a lot of people writing to the same document, uh, tracking is a good thing to have because you can see what places uh, people have changed things. Um, you can revise, roll back, do all the things you would do with uh, word tracking. So I'm going to turn that on under review and I'm going to say track changes and now tracking is turned on. And so this is my super important document that I'm going to manage in an advanced way. So let's just start out by typing, typing some stuff. And you can see that uh, right now the tracking is pretty basic. Um, the way that you can see different kinds of tracking, uh, you have, uh, you would go to show markup and uh, you can say simple markup, all markup, or no markup. And so all markup shows you more of the tracking text. Simple markup just shows you some basic things about the document being tracked. So I'm just going to keep it simple for now. Um, not going to do much with it. And then I'm going to upload it into my team. And I'm going to upload it actually into, uh, let's upload it into internal collaboration. OK. Actually, I take that back. Let's put this in, in external collaboration. So I'm going to go ahead and upload this to an area where I'm going to work with vendors and contractors and my own team all at the same time. So let's upload this document. And 
let's see, this is it right here, super important document. And now I've got my document in this area. Oh, and before I go any further, I just want to make, you want to make a uh, certain of one thing. If you're using a document that already exists, make sure the file is not a shared file um, and that you don't have, you haven't shared it with other people to co-collaborate on the document. The reason being is if you do that and you leave that feature on and then you put it into Teams, it can actually mess up some of the uh, collaborating abilities once it's in Teams. It'll actually lock out whoever is not editing the document and counterintuitively uh, makes it so you can't co-edit a document in Teams. So again, if you're putting a new document in there, just make sure it's not a shared file. And if it is, turn sharing off, because you're not going to need it anymore. That's the point of putting it in Teams. This feature is no longer necessary. OK, so the next thing I'm going to do, because this document is so important, I'm going to make this document a tab. And tabs are just ways to put either documents or applications in an area where there's quick access for all in that channel. So if I say make this a tab, it's going to name the tab after the title of the document, which is fine. We'll leave it. Super important document. Um, and I can start a conversation and let everybody know that I have started this document and made it a tab. I can say, hey, everyone. And actually, let me add the team. So we'll say at. And actually, I'm going to add the channel. So we'll say at exter external collaboration channel. Hey, everyone. This document is crazy important. Please edit and use as you see fit. OK. So the idea here is that you can start conversations about documents or tabs and just let everybody know why you put the document there, uh, maybe what you expect people to do with it, uh, maybe let people know if, if they can't um, change it, let them know and say, hey, this is a document that can't be edited. You can only read it, et cetera, et cetera. But it's always good. And then when you start these conversations about a document or a tab, it'll show up right here. And so now I can get to the document two ways. I can go here and click on it. I can go here and click on it. Actually, I can get to it three ways. Or I can go to Files, and I can click on it. OK, so that makes sure the document is noticed. Everybody is going to know it's there. Nobody can miss it.